Hello, it's Jason Alberino, Principal Product Manager at Progress, and today I'm going to be talking about what's up Gold 360. So I'm starting on docs.progress.com where the documentation is uh, to walk you through some of these use cases here. So on the what's up Gold tile, I'm going to go over to what's up Gold 360, get started with what's up Gold 360, and you'll see right here uh, kind of the use cases we're going to be talking about today. Internet connection monitoring, uh, which gives you proactive heartbeat monitoring for hypervisors and reliable critical notifications. We'll also be talking about some of the beta functionality we've been working on where you can sync your What's Up Gold information over to the cloud. Uh, without further ado, we're going to get right into the product. So how do you actually achieve this is the question. Well, first you have to deploy what we call a connector under infrastructure and then connectors here. I'm going to say add and then connector. I specify VMware, Hyper-V, or Azure, and then fill in the rest of the information. Uh, at the end, we'll create you a, an image that you deploy on your hypervisor of choice. Once you deploy that image and turn it on, it connects back to the cloud here and it becomes reachable. Uh, from there, we're also doing ping and trace routes periodically from that virtual appliance, in addition to the heartbeat monitoring we're doing. So you get some additional information about that. Uh, you'll see some connection stats here for each one of the uh, connectors I have deployed. And you can also look at you know specific connectors or look at trace route information for multiple or specific ones. And you see that periodic trace route that's doing. It keeps track of everything, each individual hop, what the min, max, and average was. And it stores that uh, for up to 30 days at this point in time. Now, uh, the other piece of this was the reliable critical notification. So let's let's imagine for a moment that my hypervisor where this connector is deployed completely goes offline. Let's say like network card dies, there's no network connection. Well, there's no way you're going to get notified about this uh, in that scenario, right? Like let's say your monitoring system's also on that hypervisor. Well, uh, you're definitely not getting anything out. Well, the, this is where the proactive heartbeat monitoring comes in. You're able to go set up what we call a communication channel, either email or SMS. And according to the rules you set, it will then message you about that information. So um, this one I already have set up. You see you can filter and say specific sites or connectors specific days or uh, specific operating hours. But it's a direct phone number right within here for the SMS email uh, is very similar. You just add the email and that's it. So that kind of covers the first use case. Um, again, just recapping, you deploy the small virtual appliance within your environment. We're able to get some additional connection information periodically as well as alert if we're ever not able to uh, reach the virtual appliance. Now I'm going to start talking about some of the beta functionality, so please keep in mind that this functionality is not yet available publicly. Um, we do have a beta program available through our customer validation program. You can read about that more at whatsupgold.com slash CVP. So once I have this connector deployed in my environment, I'm able to then uh, start syncing these What's Up Gold servers. So I'll go add What's Up Gold. You specify which connector you want to initiate the connection from. So this is basically saying, well, which one should talk to your What's Up Gold system or systems? And then on the next page, it's just uh, giving it a name and then filling in the proper information to connect to the system. Once you're done providing that, it will do its initial sync, and then it will sync every 60 seconds after that, as well as uh, when there are changes on devices. So you see all these say they're connected. Well, now I could see my devices uh, right from the cloud, portal.whatsupgold.com. You don't have to worry about uh, opening your What's Up Gold server up to the internet or uh, you know having to be on uh, LAN or WAN or VPN in order to connect and see your information. So since this is on portal.whatsupgold.com, as long as you have a web browser, you should be able to log in and get that information. And you see it shows me everything from each one of those connectors as well as individual What's Up Gold systems. Uh, really, you can see the data any way you choose. And you see I can select between different What's Up Gold systems. I can select the connector itself. Um, I could also look at individual groups uh, on individual What's Up Gold servers, or I could just look at everything. 
In addition to that, there's some advanced filtering capabilities to make it easier to get the data you're looking for. As you can see, there's a search here, but there's also filters. And you see I can look at uh, many different aspects of the device and filter based on that. Uh, for example's sake, I've already set up some saved views. So let's say I wanted to uh, create some filters here and recall them later. I can very easily do so. So I just made this filter. I'm going to save it and I'll just give it a new name. This was NTA plus credential. And basically this is only going to show me the things that have that specific credential uh, assigned with them. But what's really nice about these save views is it also remembers your column uh, selections and filters and all of that. So let's say I want just down devices. Well, I, I have already saved this one. And this is looking at, uh, as you can see, it dropped the cr credential filter for me and it brought in completely down devices. So even though these are dynamic groups on What's Up Gold systems that populate based on certain attributes, they'll still update within What's Up Gold 360 and you'll be able to see them uh, very quickly and easily here. Now on each individual device uh, that is syncing, if you click it, you get some more detailed information about what currently is being monitored on there and the current state, how long it's been in that state, the last message received in terms of uh, either failure, failure or success, and the device attributes, which groups it's a member of, uh, credentials if it has any associated as well as any interfaces associated and you see up here it tells me which what's up gold server it's coming from as well as uh, which connector it's coming from uh, this particular was on 4065.5 that is this one over here I'm gonna just log in and show you for example sake uh, let's come back over here that was this device and you can see I've done this before, uh, just going and adding an attribute to this device to show how quickly it can update within What's Up Gold 360. So I'm going to go ahead and find that device, and I'm going to switch the attribute, and we'll say hello uh, demo. And just update that. I'll update the note to we'll say 360 demo, and I'll also put some monitor on here. Let's say uh, a random power supply monitor that should report down. Okay, so you see it's, it's updating within what's up gold itself. It now thinks that new monitor is down. We now have our notes over here and that attribute has been updated. So let's go back over to what's up gold 360, pull up that device and see what it shows us here. Uh, so go pull in this device, uh, search for that, pull it in here, and you see already the power supply monitor is here, the attribute has been updated, and the note has been updated. Okay, uh, hopefully uh, everyone finds this helpful. Please let me know if there's any questions at the end. Very glad to uh, discuss the technologies behind this or any uh, sort of use cases anyone has. Thank you.